Okay po, so we start our lesson for today. It's actually business transactions and their analysis. We're going to do journalizing na po. Okay? So, yung journalizing po, medyo madali. If, uh, sasabayan nyo po itong video. And, if na-review po nyo ng ayos yung debit credit. Pero, syempre, para po mas ma-enhance natin yung kaalaman natin sa debit credit, let's review first. Okay? So, nasa LMS naman po yung debit credit lecture. So, pwede nyo pong balikan. Na po. So, this review, when you say debit po, it's actually, it is the value received kung ano po yung inyo natanggap. Okay? In accounting. And, ang credit naman po, it is the value for gone kung ano po nawala sa inyo. Okay? Pero, at some point sa account titles, hindi po laging ang credit is value for gone. Ano? Dun, pupunta po tayo doon. Ano? Okay? Next po, we have sa assets, alin po ang debit? Kailan mo masasabing debit? Kailan mo masasabing credit sa asset? When the account increases or when the asset increases, debit po siya. Okay? And when the assets decreases, uh, credit po siya. Ano po? So, assets, debit, increase, credit, decrease. Okay? The next po, we have examples of asset increases. So, meron po tayong pag-cash, the owner invested in the business through giving cash. So, nag-invest po yung may-ari ng business, separate entity principle, na kapag yung owner nagbigay sa negosyo, yung negosyo actually in nagkaroon po siya ng pera, kaya increase po siya ng cash, increase siya ng asset because cash is an asset. Then, someone paid the owner their utang. Pag po may nagbayad ng utang sa business, okay, uh, yun po ay, pag po hindi personal na utang, pag business utang, uh, pag nagkaroon po ng increase ng cash. Okay? So, increase po siya ng asset. Pero accounts receivable naman po, kapag may nadagdagan na umutang, okay, there's someone who asks if he or she can make utang from the business and he makes utang. Ano po? Then, for inventories naman po, nag-increase po ang inventories kapag bumibili ka ng inventories. Yun po ay asset increases. So, lahat po yan is debit. Okay? How about examples of asset decreases? So, dito naman po, sa cash, nag-decrease ang cash po kapag ginagamit nyo yung cash pag nagbabayad ka ng expenses or kapag bumibili ka po ng equipment, building, at saka inventories gamit po ang cash. Okay? Decrease po siya ng asset, decrease siya ng cash. Okay? For accounts receivable naman po, pag may nagbayad na po sa inyo ng, uh, tawag din, pag may nagbayad na po sa inyo ng utang, Okay? Umutang sa business is nagbayad na po siya. Decrease na po siya ng accounts receivable. Nawala na siya sa accounts receivable. And decrease po siya ng asset. Ano po? Then, for inventories po, um, nababawasan po yung inventories kapag ginagamit mo yung inventories or kapag pinagbebenta na po yung inventories. Okay? So, next po, liabilities. Kailan po siya debit? Kailan siya credit? Ang liabilities po, kapag po nag-increase ang liabilities, credit po siya. Kapag naman po nag-decrease ang liabilities, debit po siya. Kasi kung titingnan niyo po sa accounting equation, nasa, kabilang, nasa right side po siya ng equal sign. From the right side of the equal sign, ang increases na po niya ay nakakredit. Okay? So, ganun po siya. Okay? So, remember this po. Then, examples po ng liability. When the liability increases, you borrowed money to purchase inventories. Nagka-utang ka po kasi meron ka ng pera. And you told your supply that you will pay at a late, later date. So, sa halip na magbayad ka, bumili ka kay supplier, sa halip na magbayad, utang muna. Okay? Then, nag-apply ka ng loan sa banko, and kapag hindi ka pa po nagbabayad ng expenses, kunwari, dumating po yung water bill, pero sabi mo, sa kana, may liability ka po magbayad sa katapusan or sa due date ng iyong water bill. Ano po? So, yon And, Tandaan niyo po yung unearned income, yung kapag nagka-cash advance yung customer. So, kapag hindi niyo pa po yung ginagawa yung service niya, nag increase po yung liability mo. Po. The next, li examples of liability decreases, you have, you paid your supplier for the inventories purchase. So, nagbayad ka na po ng inventories mo. Then, nagbayad ka po ng loan. Nag-render ka na ng service na katumbas po ng advance payment. So, wala ka na po unearned income. And, nagbayad ka na po ng expenses mo na already due. Okay? So, yun po. Then, next, equity po. Yan. Equity. Kailan po siya debit? Kailan siya credit? Remember that is in the right side of the equation. So, sa equity po, ang 
when the equity increases, credit po siya. And when the equity decreases, debit po siya. Ano? And examples po ng equity increases, um, nag-invest ka po ng cash or property sa business. Pwede po cash, pwede property. Kaya naman po, you made additional investment. So, ito po yung sa pagitna na ng taon, nag-decide ka na mag-increase ng investment sa negosyo. So, increase din po siya ng equity. Or, kapag nagre-record ka na po ng net income. Sa net income po, papatak po siya kay equity kasi pumapasok siya sa part po siya ng equity account, yung net income. Pag po ikaw ay magandang performance sa negosyo mo, nag-net income ka, part po siya ng equity. Okay? When does the equity decrease? So, examples po, kapag nag-withdraw ka ng funds from the business. So, kaya ka nga nagdinegosyo para may magastos ka. So, in the right way, ire-record mo na nag-withdraw ka from, ng funds from the business. O kaya naman po, ayaw mo na. So, unti-unti mong binabawasan yung mga naging investment mo. For example, kinuha mo na yung coaching in-invest mo sa negosyo. Kinuha mo na yung lupa. Mga ganun po. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng permanently withdrew. Okay? Then, you recorded net loss due to business not performing well. So, sali po na net income, net loss, decrease po siya sa equity. Ano po? Okay? Next, yan. Okay na po tayo sa review. If you haven't, if hindi nyo po masyadong maintindihan, pwede nyo po ulitin yung video or pwede nyo po basahin yung module regarding debit credit. Meron din po akong video na i-post. Uh, medyo foreign po yung nag-discuss, pero it's the same. Ano po, debit credit. So, next, we go to journalizing na po talaga. Okay? So, dito po, sa journalizing, we have to know first what is the accounting cycle. Accounting cycle po, that's actually the steps, procedures na ginagamit po to record transactions and para mag-prepare na po ng financial statements. Actually po, 11 steps po ang accounting cycle at lahat po yung gagawin natin. Okay, una po, identifying and analyzing. Padalwa, journalizing. Patatlo, posting. Paapat, preparing the adjusted child balance. Palima, preparing the adjusting trial, adjusting entries, preparing the adjusted trial balance. Papito, preparing the financial statements. Paawala, closing the books. Nine, preparing the post-closing trial balance. Ten, recording the reversing entries. And eleven, communicating the financial statements. So, ngayon po ang gagawin natin for this discussion is hanggang unadjusted trial balance po, hanggang step four. Okay, so hinahinga nila po tayo. Okay? So, simulan po natin sa step 1. Step 1 is identifying and analyzing transactions and events. Remember po that only accountable events are recorded. So, paano po ba malalaman if accountable yung event? Verify using source documents. So, ano po yung mga source documents natin? Sales invoice. Ang sales invoice po, binibigay kapag may sale of goods. Ang official receipt po ay binibigay kapag may sale of services. Ma'am, bakit po minsan ang binibigay sa amin pag kami ay bumibili ng goods ay official receipt? Actually po, that should be corrected. Kasi pag sales invoice, sale of goods. Pag official receipt, sale of services. Ano? So, hindi na po natin masyadong napapansin. So, kaya po kapag kum kumain sa butch, ang uh, as a restaurant official receipt ang binibigay. Pag po kayo ay bumili sa isang merchandising business at uh, goods and services po ang, uh, goods ang ang binili ninyo dapat po sales invoice talaga ang bibigay sa inyo. Okay po? Then purchase orders delivery receipts bank deposit slips bank statements, checks, and statement of accounts. Alam ko pong familiar kayo sa mga um, source documents na yan. Ano po? Okay? So, yun, yun po yung step 1. O, di ba tapos na tayo sa step 1. Step 2 po is journalizing. So, yan. Ito na po yun. Yung paano yung format ng debit credit. Alam natin kung kailan siya debit. Alam natin kung kailan siya credit. Pero, paano natin isusulat? Okay po, meron po tayong format. Ito po yun. Na on the right side, makikita nyo po date. Okay? At left side pala po left side, ilalagay nyo po dito yung date. Okay? Then, on, uh, ito po yung makikita natin sa Excel worksheet. So, yung sunod po nating discussion is Excel worksheet po natin gagawin. Okay? Then, you have the first, first one, ito po yung itsura ng ide-debit mo. Then, yung credit mo, naka-indent po siya. Okay? Hindi po siya pantay, naka-indent. Credit. And then, yung amounts, Si debit po ay hindi ka pantay ni credit. Ano po? Ganun lang po siya. Okay? 
may makikita naman din kayong mga borders na sa Excel worksheet. Ano po? Then, at the bottom, huwag pong kakalimutan yung short description of the transaction. Kasi sa negosyo, ang daming transaction. So, baka mamaya, pag wala kang short description, balikan mo, eh, isang taon ng iyong recording, balikan mo yung pang May, nakalimutan mo na kung ano yung pang May na record mo. So, ano to? Ano yan? Papaganong ka na lang. So, for um, recording sake, lagyan po ng short description. Okay? So, yan po. So, yung mga susunod po is actually examples ng business transactions at kung paano po siya i-record. Okay? So, examples, you have transaction 1. Transaction 1 po, sabi, on January 1, 2020, you provided 800 cash as initial investment to your business. Paano po natin gagawin ang recording? Unang-una, itanong nyo muna, is there any increase or decrease that happened? Sa tingin nyo po, nagkaroon ba ng increase at decrease na nangyari? Increase or decrease? Actually, dito po, increase. Kasi, nagbigay ka ng pera, kasi nag-invest ka. Remember yung kanina po sa debit credit. Nagbigay ka ng pera, so ibig sabihin, yung cash ng negosyo is nag-increase. And at the same time, yung capital account, yung owner's capital account po mo, nadadagdagan yung parang panghahawakan mo sa negosyo kasi iyo yung perang yun, so i-record mo as your owner's capital. Ano po? So, increase in cash, which is an asset, and increase in owner's capital, which is part of equity. So, paano po natin yung record Ganito po yung tura niya. Okay? Remember, dito sa side na to date. So, date po, January 1, 2020. Ma'am, pwede pong wag nang ilagay yung 2020. Okay lang po, kasi sa title niyan, meron namang 2020 nakalagay. Okay? the next po, we have debit. Ma'am, bakit po natin dinebit na cash? Kasi po, increase in cash or increase in asset. Tandaan, ang increase in asset is nakadebit. Kaya po, debit cash. Okay? The next, credit, owner's capital. Remember, it is an increase in equity. Remember na when the equity increases, nakakredit po siya. Kaya, owner's capital. Then, lagay nyo lang po, 800, 800. Yan po yun, 800. Ngayon, dito po natin ipra-practice yung double entry bookkeeping system. Na kung ano nangyari sa debit mo, yun din ang mangyayari sa yung credit. It's either increase increase or decrease in amount increase increase decrease decrease or decrease increase ano po so anyway so ang ang summary lang po nun parehas po yung amount na ilalagay nyo at dapat po balance ang debit nyo sa credit nyo okay po kapag po hindi balance ang debit at credit nyo debit versus credit may mali po kayong ginawa dapat po balance po siya ano po Okay? And then, wag kakalimutan po yung short description. Madali lang po gumawa ng short description. Lagi po siya nagsasimula sa two. To record the owner's in initial investment to the business. Parang kinopya ko lang yung sinabi. Ano po? So, yun. Okay, ako tayo sa transaction one. Next, we go to transaction two. Transaction two naman po, you have, on January 15, 2020, the business obtained a bank loan of one, two. Umutang daw po siya. Unang tanong, is there any increase or decrease that happened? Nung umutang ka, Anong na-receive mo? Naka-receive ka ng pera, kaya ka nga umutang eh. So, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ka ng increase in cash, which is an asset. However, at the same time, nagkaroon ka ng utang. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, nag-increase din ang liability mo, which is, uh, ito, dahil bank loan na nakalagay is loan payable. Okay? Increase in cash, asset, and increase in loans payable, liability. Increase in asset is debit, increase in liability is credit. So, ilagay po natin. On January 15, okay, date, debit cash, kasi naka-debit siya, credit, loans payable, in the amount of 1, 2. Okay, pasensya na po, maingay po ang aking aso. Okay? Anyway, so 1, 2 po, 1, 2 ang amount. 1, 2, 1, 2. Then, wag pong kakalimutan to record bank loan obtained. Ano po, ganyan lang po siya kadali. Medyo mahirap po yung analysis if hindi po kayo, hindi nyo po gamay yung increase, decrease, yung debit, credit. Ano, pero po, if nag, uh, through the exercises na ibibigay ko po, masasanay po kayo masasanay kasi pare-parehas naman po yung hitsura ng transactions. Ano po? Okay? Next, we have transaction 3. On January 17, 2020, the business acquired equipment value at 2000 for cash. Is there any increase or decrease that happened? Tanong, anong binili mo? 
equipment. Ibig sabihin, may na-receive kang equipment kasi binili mo. An- anong ginamit mo pambili? Cash. Ibig sabihin, nawalang ka ng cash. Okay? Nagkaroon ka ng increase in equipment kasi bumili ka. But at the same time, nagkaroon ka ng decrease in cash kasi ginamit mo pambili ng equipment. So, debit ito, credit ito. Tama po, diga? Kasi sa assets, increases in assets, debit, increases in Uh, decreases in assets is credit. Ano po? Lagay lang natin. January 17, debit, equipment, credit, cash, 2,000. To record the acquisition of equipment. Ganyan lang po. Ano po? Okay? Are we good? Next po, we have transaction 4. On January 18, 2020, the business ordered 5,000 worth of inventories payable through cash. Okay? Ang tanong, is there any increase or decrease that happened? Order pa lang po. Kapag po ba kayo'y umu-order through Lazada, nagkakaroon na po kayo ng uh, transaction. Wala pa, di ba? Kailan lang po nagpapalitan. Kapag, kapag COD, ang nangyari, the moment na dumating si courier, doon ka pa lang magbabayad at doon mo pa lang matatanggap yung product. At this point, umorder ka pa lang. Para po pag umu-order kayo sa Jollibee. O kaya naman pa kaya po yung order sa Grab, if may love po kayo sa Grab, or Food Panda, whatever, ganun po. Ano po? So actually, wala pong nangyari. This is actually a non-accountable event. So ano pong ilalagay sa journal entry pa ganun? No entry. Ano po? Ganun lang po siya. Pag umorder ka pa lang, actually wala pa naman talaga nangyayari, umorder ka pa lang subject to cancellation, subject sa pagbabago ng uh, usapan. Ano po? Okay? Transaction 5. Next. January, on January 19, the owner invested an additional building valued at 1 million and transportation equipment valued at 500,000 to the business. Ngayon po, ang keyword nyo dito is invested. Okay? Hindi po siya purchased. Ano, pag-purchase, binili mo. Pag-invested, meron ka as may ari. Ang ginawa mo, binigay mo muna sa negosyo para gamitin. Ngayon, ang tanong, is there any increase or decrease that happened? Actually, sa anong natanggap ni negosyo? Nagkaroon siya ng building at nagkaroon siya ng transportation equipment. Okay? Huwag niyo pong titingnan ang sarili niyo dito na nawalang ka ng building at transportation equipment kasi hindi ka naman, hindi natin nire-record yung mga nangyari sa iyo. Ang nire-record natin is yung nangyari sa business. Ano po? Separate entity concept. Ngayon, nagkaroon po si, si negosyo ng building and, and transportation equipment. At the same time, ikaw na may are na dagdaga ng panghahawakan mo sa, sa iyong kapital na If ever hindi na siya naging going concern or magtatapos na yung negosyo, pwede mong kunin uli yung building and transportation equipment kasi naka-record sa iyo as your owner's capital. So, ibig sabihin, there is an increase in building and transportation equipment. Building is an asset. Transportation is an asset also. And increase in owner's capital equipment. Ah, sorry, owner's capital, which is equity. Remember that increases in assets are debit and increases in equity are credit. So, lagay po natin. Ang tawag po dito sa entering ito is compound entry. Dalawa po ang debit at dalawa po ang debit. Pwede po mangyaring dalawang credit, dalawang debit. Ano po? Okay? So, record natin yung date, January 19. Debit building. Kasi na-receive mo siya, 1 million. Then, debit, transportation equipment, 500,000. Ngayon, sabi natin, dapat equal ang debit at credit. I-add nyo lang po itong dalawang ito. Okay? Kasi actually, parehas yan, iyo. As a owner, ilagay mo, i-credit mo sa owner's capital mo. 1.5. Ano po? So, yun lang po yun. Okay? So, nung nagkaroon po tayo ng... Nang owner's capital, kailangan i-record po natin siya to record investment of building and transportation equipment. Ganun lang po. Madali lang po siya. Ano po? The next, transaction 6. On January 20, 2020, the business partially paid half of the bank loan. Tandaan niyo po yung bank loan kanina. Binayaran niyo na daw po yung kalahate. Okay? So, is there any increase or decrease that happened? Analyze po natin nagbayad ka ng utang. So, ibig sabihin po, nabawasan ang utang mo. Decrease yun. Ano po, at the same time, anong pinambayad mo? Siyempre, pera. So, ibig sabihin, nag-decrease din po yung iyong cash, which is an asset. Kaya, 
decrease in cash asset and decrease in loans payable liability kasi nagbayad ka na po ng utang okay january 20 debit loans payable why decreases in decreases in liability or debit and then credit cash for 600 pesos ma'am bakit 600 kasi kanina yung bank loan if natatandaan niyo is 1.2 1 1 2 ano po kalahati daw so 1 2 divide 2 600 ano po to record payment of half of the bank loan okay next Transaction 7, on January 21, 2020, the business rendered service for 5,000. Ngayon po, yung negosyo mo, pwede nyo dito i-analyze na ang negosyo mo pala is a service entity. Nagpo-provide ka ng service. Ngayon, nag-provide ka ng service at nakatanggap ka na 5,000 pesos. Okay, actually, that's revenue. Ano po? Is there any decrease, increase or decrease that happen? Dahil nag-provide ka ng service, nakatanggap ka po ng pera. So, increase in cash. At the same time, nagkaroon ka po ng revenue. Kailangan nyo po siyang i-record as your revenue para pag gumawa po kayo ng income statement, lalabas po na yung revenue mo, nagkaroon ka ng revenue at income po yun. Ano po? Increase in cash, which is an asset, and increase in service revenue, which is income, which is also part of equity. Okay po. So, alam natin na increases in equity are credit. Kaya, on January 21, debit cash, credit service revenue, 5,000 pesos. And then, don't forget that description to record rendered service for cash. Okay? Dali lang po, ba? Okay? Next, transaction 8. On January 21, 2020, the business rendered service for 10,000 on account. Ngayon naman po, sabi, noong ginawa nyo ng serbisyo, pare, wag mo na tayo magbayad. Hindi ko man ikaw babayaran. Pwede kang sa sunod na buwan. Ganun po. Ano? Yung po ang ibig sabihin ng on account. Kumbaga, utang muna. Kailangan ko yung servisyo mo ngayon, pero utang muna. Service now, pay later. Parang ganun. Okay? So, paano po natin gagawin yun? Actually, ang tanong muna, is there an increase or decrease that happen? Meron ka pong increase in revenue. I-recognize na po siya as revenue. At the same time, May utang sa'yo. Ibig sabihin, nag-increase din po ang inyong accounts receivable. Ano po? So, increase in accounts receivable, which is an asset, and increase in service revenue, which is part of income, which is an income part of equity. Kaya, January 21, debit, accounts receivable, credit, service revenue for 10,000 pesos, and to record rendered service on account. Ano po? Okay, next. Transaction 9. On January 26, 2020, the business paid water and electricity bill for 2000 So, nagbayad ka daw po ng iyong water and electricity bill. Sa accounting po, pinagsasama po yung dalawa. Ang tawag po is utilities expense. Ano po? Expense po siya. So, at 2000 pesos, actually, ano nangyari? Nag-record ka ng expense. So, there is an increase in expense. Ano po? Kasi once na nagbayad ka, sinasabi mong may expense ka na. Ano po? Dapat nire-record nyo siya as expense nyo kasi gumastos ka for the water and electricity bill. So, there is an increase in expense. Ang expense po is part ng equity. At dito po natin, pwedeng i-explain na uh, because ang expense po ay nakaka-decrease ng equity, pag po siya ay tumaas, may possibility, uh, pag siya ay tumaas, Nag, pag nag-increase ang iyong expense, nagde-decrease po ang iyong equity. Ano po? Yun po yung analysis niya. Okay? Pag nag-increase ang iyong utilities expense, baw, kabawasan po siya sa iyong puhunan o sa iyong capital or owners, uh, owners, uh, sorry, sa iyong equity. Okay? Kasi babangga mo po siya sa income eh. Income minus expense is equal to net, net, uh, net income. Uh, then, Ang summary po niya, when the, in, when the expenses increase, the equity decreases. Ano po? Kaya, decrease in cash, kasi ang pinambayan niyo po is cash, and then increase in utilities expense, which is part of equity, decrease in equity. Kaya, debit, utilities expense. Yan po yun. Kita niyo, nakadebit siya. Ibig sabihin... Uh, eh, part siya ng equity, ba sabi natin dinedebit natin ang isang equity account if it decreases 
the equity. So, kaya po nakadebit ang mga utilities expense. Ano po? And then, credit cash for 2,000. Nabawasan po kasi yung cash kasi cash yung pinambayad nyo. Ano? To record payment of utilities expense. Okay? I hope it's clear po. Ano? Clear sa inyo. If hindi po, pwede nyo po ako itanong regarding sa mas maha, mas uh, detalyado pong explanation kung bakit ang increase in expense ay decrease in equity. Ano po? Transaction 10. Malapit na po tayo. Hanggang 11 lang yung transaction. Okay? On January 26, 2020, the business paid employees their salaries totaling 5,000 pesos. Okay po? So, nagbayad daw po ng pinasahod na po ang mga playado. So, gagaya lang din po yung utilities expense. Ang babaguhin nyo lang po ay yung kanyang account title. Decrease in cash, which is the asset pinambayad nyo, and increase in salaries expense, which is an expense part of equity, which is decrease in equity. Increases in expense or decreases in equity. So, debit, salaries expense, 5,000 credit cash, and then yung description po to record payment of salaries expense. Okay? Then next po, last one. Transaction 11. On January 30, 2020, the owner withdrew 1,000 from the business. Siguro pang gastos niya po. So, dito, separate entity applies. Kapag ikaw ay kumukuha, galing sa kaha ng iyong negosyo, i-record mo. Okay? So, paano po natin i-record yon? Okay? Actually, there is a decrease in cash kasi binawasan mo yung pera ng negosyo mo and increase in owner's withdrawal. Tandaan niyo po yung ating uh, accounts, kinakategorize natin. The, one of the equity accounts is owner's withdrawal. Ano po? Okay? So, record natin. Debit, owner's withdrawal. Okay? Alam po natin na ang owner's withdrawal is dahil nabawasan ng iyong, uh, kumbaga eh, uh, kinita ng iyong negosyo, magdi-decrease pong iyong equity para po siyang expense. Pero equity account po siya, ano, owner's withdrawal, kabawasan po siya sa iyong equity pag ikaw ay kumukuha ng pera kay galing sa negosyo. So, dalawa po, double entry bookkeeping system. Sa asset po, nabawasan ng cash at the same time, nag-reflect po yun sa equity ng sa owner's withdrawal. Ano pa? So, debit, owner's withdrawal, 1,000 and credit cash, 1,000 to record withdrawal of owner's. Okay? So, yun. Ma'am, paano po yung account titles na gagamitin? Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Tuwing nag-journal entry po, sinasabi po yung accounts na gagamitin and pipili lang po kayo doon. Hindi po kayo magagawa-gawa ng accounts. Ano po, yung basic accounts, yun po ang ginagamit. Pero pag may special accounts po, sinasabi po sa problem yung mga pangalan na accounts na gagamitin para pare-parehas po. Okay? So, that ends po my uh, discussion about journalizing. So, please proceed to the next part sa LMS and download nyo po yung material na in-upload ko which is an Excel file. Okay? And pag na-download nyo na po, buksan nyo po yung Excel file. Uh, hopefully, nasa harapan po kayo ng laptop or desktop. Okay? At uh, sabayan nyo po yung uh, material sa panonood ng videos. Kasi explain ko po yung sagot doon sa material na yon. Bago po tayo, bago po kayo magsagot ng mga exercises na binigay ko po. Ano po? Okay. Thank you so much po.